Hi, I'm Dr. Jan Jaffer, and this is Got Teeth, a patient-centric monthly podcast featuring local health experts. Hi, so today we have Amina, who is the chair of the World Partnership Walk Calgary, uh, to talk a little bit about what the World Partnership Walk does and how it raises funds and where this money goes. So thanks for joining us. Awesome. Thanks for having me. So I'm Amina. I'm the chair for the World Partnership Walk here in Calgary. And the World Partnership Walk is a great initiative. It's actually the largest in Canada for international development and raises money towards poverty alleviation in Asia and Africa specifically. And the money goes to anyone who needs help. It doesn't matter where you come from, what your religious religion is, your background, socioeconomic status. If you need help, the Aga Khan Foundation will help you. Great. And so tell us a little bit about, when did this walk start? Because I know it's been happening for a number of years. Absolutely. So it actually started in Vancouver. It was a group of five women who decided to put a walk together and just bring awareness to important causes. And it really mushroomed up from there. Now we're nationwide. We're in so many countries across Canada, including Calgary. Next year's our 40th anniversary. Awesome. So 40 years. Yeah, very exciting. Yeah. And so tell us a little bit about the initiative. So, you know, I mean, I know the money goes to to obviously Asia and Africa. That's where the majority of the money is spent. What kind of work does this money actually help? What is it doing out there? Yeah, for sure. So actually 100% of the funds donated make it to Asia and Africa. And so much so that under the Canadian government, it actually gets matched up to five times. So every dollar that's donated, up to $6 goes to these great causes, such as access to healthcare, vaccinations, just basic healthcare, education, clean water, and sustainable projects. What's important is the Aga Khan Foundation doesn't just give money to people. It teaches people skills so they can then have a future that's better and brighter for themselves and their family and generations to come. Yeah, and that's awesome. That's one of the things that I know, you know, being a part of it and and, and learning a little bit more about it. I mean, it really does try to change society, not not give a wages money, but, you know, through education, through healthcare. I mean, a number of hospitals have been created through this initiative, right? I mean, uh, you know, universities, just knowledge bases where kids can learn and can get really some good education and then also taking care of women. I mean, I think that's a big part of, you know, where some of this funding goes. Absolutely. Gender equity is top of everyone's mind for sure. And especially in parts of the world where it's not always been a priority. That's what's important is understanding doesn't matter who you are. doesn't matter what your gender is. You deserve education. You deserve an opportunity to be better in life for yourself, but also for those around you. And like you said, it's generational. It just then carries forward into future generations and makes the world a better place. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And this is a big passion of ours. I mean, with with our organization, obviously, Trek Dental and and going back, I mean, I know that, you know, we have a passion behind the World Partnership Walk because... I think 25 years ago, my father was the chair, and and fortunately, previous to you, I was able to be the chair, and then you, and then you took over, and so we're we're really happy to be a part of it. We're looking forward to the walks coming back. We know that that's been, you know, some of the challenges with COVID is we haven't had the official walks going out there, but we know that uh, hopefully next year we'll be able to get out there and support in person, uh, not just financially. Um, you know, this year again we have you know done our done our sponsorship. We did uh, do the ten thousand dollars for the World Partnership Walk, which is. Just exciting to be a part of, but really looking forward to hopefully getting an opportunity to bring our teams back out and experience some of the fun that you guys have have created over the years. Absolutely. It's a great event. You know, we have the corporate games at the beginning, the tug of war, all that kind of fun stuff to get engaged and excited to get to wear your branded shirts and get some recognition, but have fun, you know, for a great cause. And we were sad this year also not to have an in-person walk, but you're right, due to COVID, we had to decide, you know, at the height of COVID, do we get permits? Do we not? So I get asked that question every single day. Why is there no walk? But fingers crossed, next year being our 40th anniversary, we will have an in-person walk. But this year really has been centered on mini walks and do-it-yourselves and smaller events in your community where you invite your patients out, your friends, your family to learn about the walk and do some fundraising as well and have fun little events. And we have a lot of those continuing throughout the rest of the year and right up until December 31st, which is when we stop collecting funds for 2022. So that was gonna be my next question. If other people do wanna get involved, what is the easiest way for somebody to get involved or to help out? So register online at worldpartnershipwalk.com, either as a team or a fundraiser. And then you decide, really, if you wanted to do a bottle drive and donate the funds, great. If you wanted to step it up and do a mini walk like we just had a couple of weeks ago at a senior's facility and 
they had face painting and balloon animals and a silent auction actually of the artwork that the seniors had created which was really cool and lunch they went you know the full extreme which was awesome well attended it could be as small or as big as you want. If you want to do a walk, go to Bowness, go to Princess Island. It's beautiful out now. Take advantage of the weather. Just bring awareness to the cause. That's all we ask. Awesome. Well, that's great. And that's a lot of great information, a lot of things that people can do. And, uh, you know, happy to continue to support and excited that uh, that you're doing this. And thanks for your help to, to, you know, raise money and awareness for international development. And we couldn't do it without generous sponsors like yourself. So thank you. We appreciate it all through the years, the support and financial and not just financial, moral as well. You know, I had uh, big shoes to step into, but uh, really excited to continue uh, the growth and awareness for this cause. So thank you. Awesome. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Thank you.